Exodus Animal Health was spun off from Pfizer back in February. The IPO price at 26 and now trades around $31. I'm here with the company CEO, Juan Ramon Alex, and he's here to talk about the company. Tell me, what's it like being an independent company now that you've spun off from Pfizer? It has been a great uh, time in where we have been uh, focused on uh, delivering our uh, financial commitments, at the same time uh, managing the complexity of the separation and making sure that uh, we continue bringing innovation to the market. And one of the uh, great examples of innovation has been the approval by the FDA of a product called uh, Apoquel, which is uh, to treat uh, allergic dermatitis in dogs, which is a serious uh, medical condition, very frustrating and distressful for uh, pet owners. So we're very pleased with uh, the progress that uh, we are making. In the second quarter, your revenue was up 2%. Your net income was down 26%, but a lot of that was due to restructuring, post spin-off. So what's your expectations for the third quarter, the second half of the year? So we are, uh, in the second quarter, uh, we deliver 4% uh, operational uh, revenue growth. And also we, uh, we met uh, consensus in terms of uh, earning per share. And uh, I think it's something that uh, it's uh, demonstrating that uh, the performance is uh, very strong. And also at the time of the second quarter, we reaffirm our guidance uh, for the year. So we are confident, we are sure that uh, at the end of the year we'll be meeting our uh, commitments. How will food safety concerns in China help your business? I, I will describe as an opportunity for us. So we have uh, great products. In China is the largest uh, producer of uh, uh, pork. They have uh, 600 million of uh, pigs, so a lot of uh, animals, but only uh, very few are raised in uh, sophisticated uh, farms. We are convinced that uh, with the shift uh, from backyard production to more sophisticated, they will use uh, more uh, products. We have opportunity really to bring innovation to the market, and this will in, uh, improve the quality and uh, also the quantity of food uh, in China. What about your Brazilian business? Clearly this is another big market for you. Well, Brazil, it's, uh, it's a large uh, country for animal health. Uh, it's very sophisticated in terms of uh, livestock. We have a large number of uh, cows, also a strong production of uh, pork, also production of uh, poultry. And uh, definitely it's an important market for the animal health industry. So finally, what are we doing right here with Animal Connections? Well, we're very pleased with the collaboration with uh, the American Veterinary Medical Association and also with uh, the Smithsonian that uh, it's uh, bringing uh, this uh, track uh, showing uh, the animal connection with uh, human. And uh, the people will be able really to visit uh, this uh, track and see uh, farm animals, companion animals, wild animals and also zoo animals and the links uh, with a uh, human. Great uh, way to celebrate also the 150th anniversary of uh, the, anima, uh, the American Veterinary Medical Association, which is also partnering with us in our first year of uh, life. 